Today, I'm going to be talking about things Linux does better than Windows. I've been using Linux instead of Windows on my main laptop for more than a year and a half, and I am seriously impressed with some things Linux does better than Windows. Every time I go back to Windows, whether for a video or to help someone out with their computer, I always notice the lack of these things makes the experience worse on Windows than on Linux. This video is going to show some of those things not present or lacking on Windows and compare them to Linux. The first thing Linux does better than Windows in is performance. This one is pretty easy to point out. For the last 20 years or so, Linux has performed much better on low-end hardware than Windows does, and the problem has become even worse with Windows 10 and 11. For example, here is this gateway laptop. The laptop has pretty abysmal specs for today's standards, and on Windows 10 it shows. Even with an SSD inside of the laptop, it runs very sluggishly on Windows 10 and isn't usable for more than writing a Word document or checking your email. But if you try Linux Mint, even from a USB drive, the computer is much faster and it becomes much more usable than it ever was on Windows. Battery life is also quite a bit better on Linux over Windows, mostly because Linux has quite a few utilities that can be used to optimize battery life on things like laptops or tablets. In short, Linux revives old hardware while Windows bogs it down. Up next, we have portability. Windows is not a very portable OS, meaning that you have to have it installed on a hard disk drive or or solid state drive in order to use it. There have been some initiatives over the years to make Windows more portable, such as Windows to Go. However, both have mostly been failures and have been forgotten with time. However, on Linux, it's a completely different story. Almost every Linux distribution is bootable off of a USB drive, meaning that you can demo the system before you even go to install it. And the experience is fast. Some distributions load the contents of the ISO or the USB onto a RAM disk on the computer's memory making the experience even snappier than on Windows. And you can use tools like Ventoy to have multiple distributions on one single drive, something you can't do on Windows. The next thing Linux does better than Windows on is customizability. A lot of Linux distributions were designed with customizability and DIY in mind, and it shows. There are many different options to change different aspects about your computer's themes, whether it be the icons, the fonts, or even the desktop environment. Compare this to Windows, where you are given a limited amount of customization at the most. Most people using Windows won't customize their computers beyond changing the wallpaper and maybe the accent color of certain elements. And for the people who want to customize their computers further, they have to install programs that can break after system updates. But that's not all for customizability. On Linux, you can tweak your desktop to ease your workflow or match your needs. Take for example my desktop. It's not that customized in terms of the UI, but you can see that I've changed a lot of settings to make my workflow easier. For example, enabling widgets that show how much CPU and RAM are being used, or enabling the classic Windows 9x style start menu. I also have a shortcut that takes me directly to DaVinci Resolve with GPU acceleration. These are all things that usually require require separate applications to be installed when you do it inside of Windows, and as such, most people won't bother with it. Another thing Linux does better is with installing applications. On Windows, the method to install applications is pretty outdated. You have to go onto the internet, search for the application that you want to install, download a separate file, go through a software wizard to actually install the app, and then it's finally installed. On Linux, all you have to do is go to the distro's software store and find the app you're looking for, then install it. Some distributions, like Arch Linux, even come with a repository of user-submitted programs so that you can definitely find whatever you're looking for. Personally, after using Linux for a year and a half, I've become pretty accustomed to the way Linux installs applications over the way Windows does it. The final thing Linux does better than Windows is in security and privacy. Windows has a lot of malware, ransomware, and other issues making it very insecure. This is part of the reason why Windows gets so many software updates, because Microsoft is constantly trying to patch Windows. In comparison, Linux on desktop has a lot less security issues than Windows, mostly because people don't target Linux as much for malware. Linux also has much better security practices than Windows, for example requiring the user to input their password every time it needs to escalate permissions 
and make system changes. This is in contrast to Windows and the UAC prompt, which rarely ever pops up and usually requires a press of the yes button. Windows is also much worse for privacy, with Microsoft collecting a lot of information about the user to send it back to Microsoft servers. In fact, when you set Windows 10 or 11 up, it asks you if it can send a ton of information back to Microsoft servers. This is in stark contrast to Linux where most distributions collect very little to no data about their users, as every line of code is open for anyone to audit. To conclude, Linux does many things better than Windows does. Linux is much better on low-end and older hardware, much more portable, and able to run off DVDs slash USB drives. It is far more customizable, programs are easier to install, and it is much more secure and private than Windows. That's it for this video. Comment if you'd want me to do a video about things Windows does better than Linux. I'll see you all next time.